Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Hi. here and Cody, of course, Hi. again. Today we have another installation video to do for you guys. This one is one we've been waiting for for a really long time. We're super excited to get to. It's one of the last steps that we have uh, on the build before we do, before we have the bags and the wheels put on the car. And it is a big brake kit. Now, a lot of you guys are probably starting off saying, hey, big brake kits, what do you need those on a Stancy car? They look good there go. and they're effective, damn it. So we hit up Yellow Speed Racing USA and they helped us out get a big brake kit for the Legacy Wagon. But yeah, six pins in the front, four in the rear, the size of my head, not really, my head's huge. Very so, common setup, it's six in the front, four in the rear. It looks good, and hey, we're gonna be able to stop good if, because we do have a little bit more power out of this now after our Pro Group yes. speed. <laughs> yes, we are gonna be, oh, power, but. And cab. <laughs> we're not gonna be uh, going some crazy fast speeds once the car is lowered on the bag suspension on the rotiform wheels, but we still wanna be as safe as possible and have it look as good as possible. And I think those yellow speed brakes are gonna do just that. Let's get started on this big brake kit install. That'll tear too. So we have our two boxes here from Yellow Speed Racing. As you guys already saw, we have the six pot caliper right here in the front with the pads already in there. That in the other box, yes. Is a pot like a weed? Yes. You do one pot and you stop fast. We have our manual here with our brackets and other parts that we'll need, as well as some little juices in there. They also give us an empty box full of nothing, so... Oh, sorry, Cody. Uh, then inside the box, we have our other front brake right there. We have lines that we will need, steel braided lines that they provide, and then we have rotors right here for both fronts. Four piece 87 pot rotors. Four piece 87 pot rotor sets, Cody. He knows what's up, so I'm gonna believe him, right? You're smart. Thanks. And in the other box right there, we have our rears, which are the four pots. That's pretty much everything you get when you order from Yellow Speed Racing USA. Uh, we also went ahead and just picked up some uh, brake fluid because we're gonna need that as well when Cody leads the brakes. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Looks so good. These look so good. So the original idea with this kit was to wait until the wheels were on the car to kind of have this be like the last step so we didn't ruin the calipers at all, so we didn't scratch them or anything like that because they look good. They look really good. But we just want to get this done before we drop the car off in two days to get the bags installed and get the wheels put on and everything like that, all the fitment dialed in. We wanted to get them on now so that way we could bed the brakes in on our stock wheels here so we don't really have to worry about it. We don't have camber, we don't have stretch tires or anything, anything like that. We can just get it all done on the stock setup to be as safe as possible. Right, Cody? Yeah, whatever. So the first thing Cody is going to do is go ahead he already took off all the wheels, now he's going to prep the brakes to take those off. So everything's a little, a little bit off. He's just gonna, uh, he's just gonna send it, he's just gonna prep those right now to take them off in a second once they cool down a little bit. Hey, uh, hey Cody, can you give me, uh, give me a break? I walk away for one second, I come back and, Cody, you wet yourself already? Sorry. Cody, what the fuck is so this? Cody, Yellow Speed yeah. Racing won't, won't like you wetting yourself all over their product. Way to be next to your biggest fan, you fucking loser. You, you carry your fans around? You carry your fans around? Just gonna remove that one piece. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that anymore anyway. That got heavy really quick. Cody, actually, I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like the new ones. The old ones kind of look really good. Dual piston conversion! Ooh. I just wanted you guys to experience this with me for the first time. Cody is reading the directions. Cody, how do you feel? Hello, hello, I need to how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Before you could twist your nipples like that. So there's a whole measurement procedure that you have to go through. Like you're gonna need a dial indicator, which looks like this. Dial indicator. You can get them at like AutoZone, I believe. Even Harbor Freight has cheap ones that actually work. Do you think Duncan sells them? Uh, Duncan doesn't, but they should, and they should also sponsor us. True. So what we're doing now is we're installing the bracket to go to the fixed piston caliber system. Ooh, this, that's, well, that looks like a steel bracket to me. Put the fuck out the back of the knuckle, and then the caliper will bolt right onto this. So we're gonna install that now. Cool. Yeah, that's because it's a big brake kit. Put bike flares in. Ooh. Ooh. In a world where Cody installs a big brake kit, will the car stop? Does Chris die? So we're installing the giant big brake kit now. Giant? giant. I'm afraid of giants. I can't be here. This looks so good. No, it's yellow. Same, different, almost speed. Oh, those look so good. The yellow pin is a really nice touch. I wonder why they made it yellow. Huh. They should brand it. Yeah, they probably should. My brand. So you guys have heard us mention Yellow Speed Racing a lot in this video. That's because obviously these are Yellow Speed Racing USA. This is the company. This is their big break kit. Wait, Chris, they... stop. Did you say Yellow Speed Racing? 
did. Brakes. Yes. I should slow down. Got it, okay. These big brake kits from Yale Speed Racing USA, uh, obviously we've been mentioning them a lot. Like we said, it's their brake kit. But we also want to give a quick shout out to Patterson Performance. Donald, I know you're watching this video. They're the ones that helped us get in touch with Yale Speed Racing to make this possible for the wagon. This really wasn't even on our radar to begin with. Once Donald got us in touch with Yale Speed Racing and Patterson Performance and all that, made it happen, made it possible. So shout out to Patterson Performance and obviously Yale Speed Racing. We'll link them both down in the video description below if you guys want to go check them out. We'll talk more about that at the end of uh, the end of this whole installation video, but shout out to them as well. Can you stop? It's time to stop. Can you slow down? Anyone else want to build a car out there? <laughs> so I just torqued everything down with a torque wrench. Uh, not torque wrench. Is there a torque clap? Torque, 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 torque. Torque, 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 torque. Bro, it looks so good. Look at it in the light. Uh, it was all a dream. Nice shirt, Cody. You just wipe its butt. Beyond bleeding the brakes, this side is pretty much done. Oh my god. Caveman. I was trying to say this side is pretty much complete. We have on the six pot copper here on this side with our slotted disc rotor brake uh, thing. thing nice tool. Thanks, man. Difference being, like Cody was telling me before, it's very simple that this one has six pistons, three on each side, as opposed to the stock ones over there having uneven pressure. This guy's got three pistons pushing uh, our brake pads on either side evenly uh, to stop quicker and more uh, precisely and uh, evenly. -er. I'm learning things, guys. I'm on a roll and I'll be able to stop soon. God damn it, I know coming. In theory, this is what the unboxing would look like if we did it to begin with. Yeah. These are the rears in this box. We had already opened the fronts, obviously, because we just did the front. This is the rear. All the pretty much same old goodies in here. So Cody just moved on to uh, the rear brakes of the car. Shout in the out rear, for shout, out. shout out for shout out. Yeah, uh, group female slide into his DMs. In the uh, in the rear, we're actually going with a uh, four pot, a four piston uh, setup. While we're kind of at like a little kind of halfway point, real quick, just want to let you guys know that Yellow Speed Racing also doesn't just do big brake kits. They actually specialize in like adjustable coilovers and everything like that for all different kinds of makes and models of cars. A good chunk of the cars that run their suspension and their big brake kits are Subarus, but they also do a lot of other makes and models as well. You can go on their website. The link will be down there in the description. You can check out all the other parts that they offer. Link down somewhere. You'll find it. The number one thing you guys are probably gonna say, oh Chris, why do you need why do you need big brake kits? Your car's gonna be all stancy, you're gonna have cambered out wheels and you're gonna not be going super fast anymore. And your car's not even that fast to begin with. It's because we have fucking sponsors and you don't, so stop being a sour bit. More so for the looks, it's gonna look great. You don't see rust behind your wheels, and it just adds to the overall build quality of the car. We're not trying to cut any corners with this build, we're trying to go all out with it so we can come out of the gate with my first car like being as good as it possibly can be for right now for the time being. It looks so much better than this piece of crap. What is this? What kind of poop is this? Bad poop. Broken? It looks broke. It, did you break it? Hey pal, who did your wide body? Like over there. It looks like. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Cody just finished up the rear of the big brake kit from Yellow Speed Racing. You guys can see it right over there. Sorry. I, I, what. <laughs> I said Yellow Speed Racing, not fails. Now the front side, front passenger, and the rear passenger big brake kit on, and it looks so good. Uh, the other side of the car is basically gonna be the same exact process. It's gonna be the same thing. So we're not gonna show you that. I actually have to run to my cousin's graduation right now. So I'm gonna leave Cody in charge of the car, as usual, uh, and he's gonna take care of the other side of the car. We're gonna cut here from these two being done to the whole car being done. And uh, transition. <sighs> All right, oh, that was a lot. And we're back, uh, Cody. Hey. hey, pal. It's a little dark out right now, but I just got back from the graduation party. Congratulations. They all ate at Congratulations. Which you what? They all ate at. Thanks. <laughs> Cody's mad because he didn't eat yet today. He had the option. The next step in the process of all the breaks. By the way, he got all the breaks on. Well, I was gone, which is awesome. But the next step in the process that we have to do is bleed the brakes. So I'm gonna be in the car pumping some 
pumping some brake fluid out towards Cody, and uh, we're gonna replace it with some yummy brake fluid. What do you think about that, Cody? It's gonna be great. So uh, you start from the furthest one from the master cylinder, which has all the brake fluid, which in our case will be the passenger rear outboard bleed, and then we're gonna go to the inboard bleeder, and then we're gonna go to the driver's side, and then passenger side, and then driver's side in the front. Did you just touch my car with your flashlight? Shut right? the f pump it. Okay, pumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, holding. So basically, I'm in the car here. There's the other angle where we'll cut to, or you guys have probably already seen that, where we cut to Cody outside and Cody is bleeding the brakes properly. Uh, and while I'm holding on the brake, we're not letting any air into the lines. Three, four, five, six, and holding. Holding. Oh my God, is Lee Crispy working on his own car? No. I don't do this much working out, Cody. All right, this is the most working out I've done in forever. Pretty much. <laughs> Doing great. Thanks, man. Ooh, look at it pee into that bottle. Yeah, that's a yellow speed brake piss right there. Just finished pumping for like the past 25, 30 minutes. My leg, it's kind of numb. I don't go to the gym. I always skip leg day. It's a lot more work than I uh, wanted it to be, Cody. You're supposed to be doing the work. Come on. Who do you think you are? Could you get busy or do something? Come on. Can anyone that's able-bodied come help me next time? <laughs> that JDM reverse light. Look at those Valenti tail lights. Look at those circuit demon headlights though. So Cody just got the car pretty much finished up, wrapped up. We're gonna take it for a quick test drive, figure out if everything works, how it's supposed to work. Okay, yellow speed racing, let's see what you got. Look at that line on the headlights. Who did that? Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. It's doing about 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, 30, about 30 miles an hour, 40, <laughs> zero. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Chris. Yeah? Thanks to these yellow speed racing. What can we do? <laughs> <laughs> nice job, yellow speed racing USA. Sparkle. Ooh, that logo is actually pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it is. Kind of like their logo. All the Y's. All right, it's a little crooked. It's crooked as shit. All right, but it looks good. Yellow Speed Racing, that's it for the night. We're gonna go to sleep tomorrow. We have Wicked Big Meat. Three hours, gonna be up for Wicked Big Meat. And then we'll be all done with the Yellow Speed Brakes. They're not gonna go under these wheels. No, they're gonna go under the rotiforms. Uh, so they're gonna look a lot better. Thank you guys for watching. Now let's cut to tomorrow. So we're here at where I first did one of my very first car videos ever. One of my very first meets that I came to and filmed ever. What we're gonna do today is we're going to do a test, a brake test with our new yellow speed big brake kit to kind of feel what it feels like to stop so quick now with this new enhanced big brake kit. Just gotta show you guys our expression and our opinions on how it feels to stop with these now new yellow speed brakes. That was quick. That's a good stop. Yeah, yeah. See yellow speed? So not only do their brakes look good as hell, not behind stock crappy tires, they're gonna be behind cool rotiforms, but not only do they look really friggin' good, but they also perform awesome. We'll do some more follow-up videos with the yellow speed brakes, no, with, with the yellow speed up, racing. We'll do more updates with the yellow speed, we'll do like a check-in in a month or two and like kind of get you guys back tuned in on how it feels like to drive with a stance car with big brake kit and how that feels, and just how it feels in general owning and using a big brake kit on a car. So we wanna thank, oh. so let's go ahead and cut to the outro. So there you guys have it. It's the next day right now after we've done the big brake kit, after we've done our tests and everything like that. And as you guys can see from the test, you know, the big brake kits, they don't just look good, they perform well. Um, so we want to thank Yellow Speed Racing USA for hooking us up and helping make this review possible, helping make this install, helping make this part of our build even possible. Yes, these weren't like the cheapest part that we've had to pick up for this car, uh, but they definitely will help us in the long run. Uh, whether it be looks or safety wise. Now Yellow Speed Racing, they do more than just big brake kits. They do coilovers, dynamic sport coilovers. You can look at all their different uh, coilovers they have on their website, which we will link down below. Uh, coilovers, did I say? I think coilovers like coilovers. 14 times. I say, so also coilovers if you're interested in those. You can get your brakes totally customized. You can get them in all different colors. I chose black because it's the same color as the car and some other accents on the car, like carbon fiber bits. 
Uh, you can totally customize those from the factory, uh, which will then take about 10 to 20 days manufacturing and shipping from Yellow Speed Racing USA to get them to your door. Uh, yeah, when I was installing the big brake kit from Yellow Speed, they- Oh shit, because I did it. No shit. The quality of everything, the fit and finish was superb. The quality of the calipers was top notch. The brackets, everything went together very smoothly. It came with all new hardware, Loctite, everything that you need to retrofit your existing brake system to an upgraded six piston big brake kit. And touch up paint for the calipers. For when we screw up. Yeah. For our brake kit for this certain model car, we didn't have to change the master cylinder, which was primo. Your situation might be different, but us, we're special. They just clear our stock wheels. Our other wheels, the rotor forms, are made to fit these big brake kits. That's the other one thing you wanna make sure that the big brake kit will clear whatever wheels you're gonna be running on your car. So just pick up a template from them and make sure that your big brake kit will fit your car when you pick one up from Yellow Speed Racing. That's about it, guys. We wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. We wanna thank Yellow Speed Racing and Yellow Speed Racing USA. Also, our good friends over at Patterson Performance for making this relationship between us and Yellow Speed Racing even possible. So thank you guys for watching. Check out all their links to their social media, their website, all that in the down below description. Coilovers, big brake kits, all that good jazz for all your cool cars. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.